Okay. Um, so we got something on the screen. That's that's good. Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to give you a little overview of of um, Stripe um, payments within Civi CRM. Um, be good if someone just confirm they can hear me properly and things. Um, yes. Yes, we can hear you and see that's your great. screen. <laughs> um, sounds like I'm talking to an empty room, you see, but uh, that's, that's good. Um, so uh, feel free to jump in um, if you've got questions, and um, I, I, you know, otherwise I'll answer them at the end. But um, and um, yeah, let's. Matt, let's, let's... one quick thing uh, before you start: can you make it full screen the presentation? uh yeah the thing is i, I was going to switch between oh, a couple okay. of different windows because yeah, I, yeah. I was going to try and do a little bit of demoing and things so this was sort Sounds of what i good. thought was probably the best i, I could do so if, if that's Perfect. kind of big enough i mean i can i can probably sort of do something like that but <laughs> um yeah okay um i'm not a salesman for stripe but stripe is a, a big um, payments provider now that they're, they're, they've um, been around for uh, quite a while now um they, they've gained a bit of a reputation for being really easy to use for, for both developers and for end users um and they, they just made things easy to, to make payments online um i think they've got some slogan they, they use along that sort of line but I, I can't remember what it is but um basically yeah the, the sign up process is very easy um when you compare with with some sort of providers you know like paypal and things um they, they make it very difficult sometimes to to actually get an account with them um but generally stripe have a uh, you know a nice sort of walkthrough to to do that for you and they don't request too many documents and things before that can happen um the costs are are pretty low generally that there are other payment providers that, that beat them but um um they're they're, they're um they're, they're sort of there we go there's some uh ideas there at 1.4 percent and 2.9 percent for non-european cards and obviously this is um going to show me stuff that's based in europe because it's uh, their, their website tends to um sort of targets what you what they think you want to see and um and i'm based in portugal so you might see things come up in portuguese as well um but um yeah uh, they support a lot of countries um and i've had a lot of people come to me because they want to, to take payments in a country that uh, they're having trouble taking payments in and stripe has quite often been able been the solution for that um and um there's a the list of 44 countries that they support taking payments natively in um the the management side of things um it's probably in fairness it's probably one of the best sort of um um dashboards that that i've i've used when i'm working with payment processors in terms of uh, you know seeing what you need to need to be able to see um and um so this this comes up in Portuguese, but um, you know you can you can just see everything you need about what's going on with your your um, you know your 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 accounts and and to people who are making payments, and 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 whether Stripe's connected to Civi or whether it's connected to another system, you can have it connected to more than one. Um, you know you can see um, sort of all the information that's that's gone in there. Obviously, this being a being a test account, there's this not a lot in there, but it's um it's generally pretty pretty easy to use and, and you can um, you know you, you look at a payment and you can um you can kind of see all sorts of information um so, so this is more interesting to developers perhaps but you can you know you, you can really see where things go wrong and i get a lot of feedback from people saying that uh you know when when they've had something go wrong they can kind of um, they can either provide myself or or, an, or a you know civic provider with this information or or they can actually you know sort of see what's what's um what's happening a card type that was used um it's kind of multilingual um it's got um it supports a number of different um um languages um and there's a, a list here um so there's a number of european languages um and um well there's um chinese um russian um so that that's quite important for if, if you've got your site in um specific language it means that most of the messages should come up in that language as well rather than english um i, I can share this presentation afterwards with there's, there's a few links i've put in it so that might be useful to um to people um and multiple payment methods is something that's supported by stripe but not really by the stripe integration with civi crm just yet um but hopefully that will be coming but but they they support a, a big long list of different payment providers um in various countries so multibanker in portugal uh bank contact i think is um is dutch um and um 
and then there's, there's some more um, some more here. Um, one of the ones we have on the roadmap support is ACH EFT, which is a US based um, effectively bank transfer. Um, Okay, um, so Stripe and CVCRM, um, yeah, currently it supports taking credit and debit card payments. And um, and you can take payments, I, I say, nearly anywhere within CVCRM. So um, so for those of you more familiar with CVCRM, there's, there's sort of multiple places where you might want to take payment, be it on the admin side, be it on the, 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 the sort of front end side. So Rishani showed you uh, a, a contribution page that was you know, sort of customized for their, for their site. Um, and obviously that's one of the places where you might want to take payments using Stripe. Um, you do the same for an event registration page, but on the back end, there's um, a, you know, a number of sort of admin facilities. So you could um, you could you could take somebody's, uh, assuming that, that it was within your, your sort of data policies and things, you could take payments over the phone and type them directly into the, um, directly into the interface. Um, the, the uh, yeah, we, and this, this is a, policy to support all CMS platforms that are supported by CVCRM. So, you know, if if, um, if you're running on Drupal, WordPress or Joomla, um, Stripe should work. And if it doesn't, feel free to, you know, sort of uh, contact um, contact us or, or file a, a bug report. Um, but um, but the, the general principle is it should work. It should just work. Uh, it's, it's probably the, it's one of the most popular payment extensions for CVCRM. Um, and there's a statistics site. It um, reports it being used on over 2,000 sites at the moment. Um, so, so pretty well used. And that's that's an advantage because um, you know if if you run into a bug, the likelihood is is that either lots of other people will have run into it, or it's unique to your site and, and it can be you know it can be resolved. Um, it's perhaps a, a conflict with another extension or something. Um, but it it means that uh, you know a, a, a more um, a, a less used extension, uh, you know, there might only be 10 of you, 10, you know, 10 organizations using it. Um, and it's and effectively the funding for fixes has to come from that pool. So, so that's, that's a good thing. Uh, and it, it's, it's the leading edge of, of payment infrastructure in CVCRM because of the way the, the design of the, the extension, um, it, um, uh, well, it allows you to be for for, um, for those involved with setting up um, websites and payment systems. Um, something called PCI compliance. Um, it's very simple to achieve that because the the credit card details never actually never reach your server. They go directly um, directly from your 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 user your client's browser to to Stripe servers and and um, and the. There's been a bit of a, you know, sort of a bit of development work to kind of to push CVCRM's core code to work with with that sort of model, and, and um, so so that's been a good good kind of give and take that, that Stripe's uh, with development of Stripe has allowed us to improve the payments infrastructure within CVCRM. Um, technical design, well, it, it's a sort of modular design these days. So we've got the Stripe. Uh, th th these are all extensions for CVCRM. So we've got the Stripe extension. And that relies on a, a shared extension, which is called MJW Shared, and we're, we're sort of renaming that to Payment Shared to make it more generic. Um, and the idea is that contains the bulk of uh, any kind of com a, a compatibility layer and shared code that could be used by multiple processes. And, and um, that's now being used by, there's an authorized net extension that's using that now, and um, a couple of others starting to use that as well. So it allows us to, to sort of, you know, you know, write the bug fixes and write the code once, and also have a more of a more of a rolling window for for support rather than you know only supporting the latest version of CiviCRM, for example. We could put workarounds within that that um, that extension. Then there's a couple of others that kind of provide support. So Sweet Alert is one that provides a nice little UI pop-up messages, which um, generally recommend any Stripe, any site using Stripe installs now because it uh, makes the user experience better. Uh, and a couple of more technical extensions for um, sort of if if they're required. Um, so Minifier and Contribution Transact. That's that's only required on Drupal seven now. Um, but um, they they're, they're sort of building blocks to allow you to um, put things together. Um, you know, in, in, in the sort of best way. Um, so current features of the Stripe integration with CVCRM uh, supports one-off and recurring payments, supports credit and debit cards, it supports cancellation and refunds. So relatively recently added was um, a, a UI that provided, uh, that provides refund, that provides refund support directly within CVCRM. 
um, so you can click and refund. But um, it also supports, you can go into the Stripe dashboard, you can refund a payment there and that will get fed back into Civi CRM and it will show it as, um, as refunded. Um, coming in, the next release is uh, support for Google Pay, uh, Apple and Microsoft Pay as well. Um, and uh, this is a more technical thing, but multi-domain, multi-site support. There's um, a couple of sites have come to us recently where they're they're using um, Civi CRM in a, a fairly complex configuration, and, and that's um, something that's useful to them. Um, webhook management, I guess, a more technical thing again. Um, it, uh, it 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 allows automatic communication between your servers and uh, between your your CV CRM and Stripe servers to to keep uh, you know keep each side up updated on on you know whether whether recurring payments are in progress and that sort of thing. And there's a whole load of extra stuff coming in 6.6, .6, which is all sort of hidden, but it allows for a lot of extra diagnostics and debugging when when things do go wrong. And um, and that's already proven its worth where people have had site specific issues. They've been able to send me a whole load of logs and uh, sort of information from from database tables, and uh, and we can work out the problem without even accessing their site, um, which is pretty good. Um, so planned features, um, we've got funding now for a number of things. And um, the, the first one here allow, to, to allow specifying a static statement descriptor, um, the, the, this is um, to do with customizing the, um, the text that, uh, and this goes back to the question that, uh, I'm sorry, was it, was it Keith, I think, that asked the question um, about um, being able to customize the, the text. Um, now, there's there's two sides to it because there's the credit card statement descriptor, and that's what this is referring to, but that there are there are also a couple of other um, places in Stripe where you might see some some text being recorded um and um so this is this uh, you know so so this is um so, so the idea here is that um for example um one particular site that that funded this um they had um some some uh names that uh credit card names that they they perhaps didn't want to um to sort of to be shown on on clients credit card so instead of which they wanted to see you know, sgf membership rather than um than, than the specific names of the events um and um, so that that will be in 6.6, um, the, the next release. Um, ACH EFT integration is US-based uh, bank transfer, um, effectively. That's funded via a CBSRM Make It Happen campaign, um, and that's just pending uh, development work. Um, should be in the next three or four months, I should think. Um, support for updating subscriptions from within Civi CRM. So if you've got a recurring subscription in in Civi that's 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 on, on in Stripe as well, you're you're going to be able to, without leaving Civi CRM, you're going to be able to change the amount on that and and um, perhaps change the frequency. Um, uh, card on file saved cards. I, I wrote funded up here, but it was only the first three that have been funded so far. Um, card on file. There's a make it happen campaign due to come out soon, I think, which um, will allow um, for users to save their credit cards, or sort of store their cards on file, and, and if they're logged in, you know, choose that choose that card and, and reuse it. Um, which has been requested quite a lot, but it's 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 technically fairly fairly complex to do, so it hasn't been 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 implemented yet. But it's uh, hopefully will be soon. Uh, and uh, more payment methods. Um, yeah, um, the, the 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 extension is now designed to to sort of work with 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 other payment methods. Um, effectively, um, it needs people to come along and and say, yeah, we'd like you to implement this, please. And um, here's some funding to do it, and and, and testing as well is is always good. Um, so a quick note on funding and development. Yeah, uh, it's like with any open source software, you know, the, the code is available for free, but um, to to make it work, uh, somebody's got to do some work on it. And um, being, being being payments related, uh, I guess we're quite lucky because um, people generally will will fund work to, to make their payments work. Um, so yeah, we, we, we get contributions for, for features and bug fixes and um, and also for support and consultancy work to you know to resolve issues on, on specific sites. Um, Okay, um, thank you. I, I, I have a couple of demos, I think, which I should be able to show you. Um, so, first of all, um, so. Matt, before you go into the demos, it would be helpful if anyone had any questions, feel free to unmute yourself and, and ask your question. Um, Matt, I'll start with a question and sure. I, 
I don't know if this is possible or not, but recently we turned on our firewall and um, that caused people to get an unknown error when they were processing their donate, when they submitted the donation. And um, I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about um, firewalls and Stripe. Um, and then also, is there some kind of feature where if there is a failed donation, we can get an alert and follow up with that person, you know, and ask them to resubmit their donation once the issue has been fixed. Like a, it's kind of like a cart, you know, on a shopping website where you can see someone who went to the cart but did either tried to complete it um, or didn't finish completing it. And then you can send an email to them. Yeah, so um, yeah, on, on the firewall side of things, um, I guess, are you using, uh, perhaps you're using WordFence or, or a WordPress-based firewall, or, or, or is it something else? Oh, it's Drupal. I'll have to find out what it oh, is. Oh, sorry, yeah, but... okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the nature of firewalls in some ways, I guess, do cause problems, and I think they cause more problems with payment processes because uh, they're, they're a bit stricter because the nature of payments are that people will try and make fraudulent payments um it's it doesn't there's there's not a lot of problems come along but but when there are it's usually you know it's usually something that's got to be resolved on a per site basis i think um you know adding a rule to to whitelist something um i know that wordpress and wordfence there's been problems in the past and um um that there is a separate which i forgot to put on that list there's a separate extension that, that we wrote called firewall which um is effectively a, an ip blocking uh, it blocks ip addresses if if it detects certain fraudulent activity um and that's because um you know um it would, CV CRM sites with Stripe installed have been used in some cases to try, sort of attempt card testing so that that helps mitigate that but it it's, um, depends on sort of circumstances um on the the failed donations side of things, um, yeah, at the moment, not really any easy way to do that. Um, but um, we've actually got a client at the moment that basically wants to do exactly that. And um, I think the the best way that the way the way it's probably going to end up being done is 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 there's two sides to it. Um, the so. Um, Rich Lott's not on this call, but he he writes he maintains the Go Cardless extension, and he's got a nice um, uh, sort of workflow for that, whereby for recurring payments they they go into you know overdue status, and then they go into a, a failed status, or they go back to in progress, and um, and that will be something that and, and that's something that can be triggered using CIVI rules to do various things, um, but also um, if the payment itself um, goes into failed status, then um, Again, you can use civvy rules to to trigger something, um, and um, I have been thinking about uh, whether whether there's a way to actually directly add civvy rules, um, di directly add some some triggers for civvy rules for for some of those sort of situations because they're certainly very common kind of things where where if you're trying to communicate with your donors and you're trying to resolve problems with um, you know with, with a payment that didn't complete, um, um, it, it's it's something that from a yeah from a from the from the fundraising point of view and from the yeah the people point of view it's um it's really really important to you know to kind of to follow that sort of thing up so um yeah welcome any ideas as well but um i think a combination of the the sort of different statuses within civi and and potentially some some rules that um that you can build your own you know build your own conditions and actions um could work quite well for that thank you um Okay, let, let me just do it to a, to a quick demo here. Um, so um, this this is available. Um, it's, it's a public test site. So, um, so um, Stripe provides a load of test cards, and and um, I mentioned Sweet Alert earlier. Once I click here, you're going to see a, a pop up, and that's uh, this is this is Sweet Alert where it looks pretty, basically. Um, so it kind of gives you more of it gives the end user more of an idea of what's going on, um, and um, and there we go. That's a, that's a payment completed, um, and, and all the usual things would go on in the CIVI backend. You know, the payment gets recorded, and they receive some information. Um, 
was going to show you the uh, subscription um, and there's a couple of extra little features to show you as part of this so reception prescription recurring payment um, so we're going to contribute this amount every month now a relatively new feature within the stripe extension is is there's a you can configure specific start dates um, so in this case we say we want to start on may the first um, i'm afraid i'm not terribly creative with my uh, usernames here but um um, and um, there's a whole list of test card numbers here, and I'm going to pick one here that needs 3D secure verification, which, um, which for those of us in Europe, um, uh, we're pretty familiar with. And now I think where um, there's a secondary stage of authentication for the card before it's accepted. Um, so again, same process, but because this is a subscription, it works slightly differently because um, effectively the amount isn't uh, available until the, the payment has been ready. So you'll see that this time it jumps straight through to the final step. But here we go. Um, it's it's asking for verification. So this is where it would normally redirect to your bank and um, tell you to enter a code that's been sent to your mobile phone or, or something similar. And um, but we this is their test page. So we click. Yep, we complete that successful and payment succeeded. Um, and again, um, the usual processes will go on in within within Civi CRM. So, um, should be able to see. Um, th this is all running in test mode, so it's a little bit. Um, so that that one hasn't actually um, confirmed yet um, because uh, it's not going to be paid until May the first. Um, so. Um, which is uh, tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow that should automatically go go, go to completed, and um, you could you could then use Civi rules to to trigger on you know um, a Stripe payment changed from pending to completed. Uh, let's send out the you know the receipt and the thank you at that point. Um, okay. Um, the um, I mentioned I had something set up here just to show you. Um, Okay, I'm not sure where that one's gone, sorry. Uh, maybe it's this one. Matt, this is a very minor thing, but I noticed that um, recently the check boxes have that blue in the background. Is that something new? Is that coming from Civi or Stripe? Because before oh, um, we had check boxes that didn't have any color and we prefer that because that doesn't quite fit with our form. Where was that you saw that, sorry? Um, it's just when you, on the contribution page, when you're doing the test payment, uh, when you check a box, then it, the background turns to blue. It's like a blue. This yeah, one. there. And also, I think there was another place where there was like a check box. Um, well, where's the little... styling coming from for that? <laughs> I couldn't tell you right now without having a bit of a look. I mean, this this is running on top of WordPress. It's got its own. It's, there's, a, there's a WordPress theme installed. Um, it's also yeah, then, right there, exactly. Yeah, okay, and Good. and it's also using the. Uh, I think this is using um, Christian Wax uh, theme, which is a WordPress theme for Civi CRM. Although, actually, no, it's not. Is it? It's using the default Civi theme. So, yeah, it'll be coming from somewhere within the theming, um, within you know the the the, the theming code um <laughs> sorry it's a bit vague but uh yeah um it's not deliberate but it's not um, it's not part of stripe right it's nothing because to do with we... stripe no no oh, this, this okay, is got it. and so so this you know looks uh, kind of ugly uh this is where you know we could install one of those extensions we were talking about earlier recurring buttons or radio buttons or both and this would look like uh well it wouldn't quite look like your it wouldn't quite look like plastic pollution co-ops donation page but it would look much closer to that you get the boxes mm -hmm. instead of the these and things so so at that point you would lose the you wouldn't get the little radios and the tick boxes because they'd be hidden got so, it yeah thank you um okay. I, we have five minutes to um you know before we wrap up but any final questions from folks i think this has been tremendously helpful and um if you could share the link to the slides or we can upload it to slide share and then we'll share the recording as well with folks and then add links in the collaborative notes document. Yeah, if uh, maybe if I if I can send it to you and you, you can 
upload it somewhere sure. would that be okay um yeah that would be great um yeah i should just just giving you a quick demo here of, of the yeah google pay um this is um demoing from my mobile phone um so uh yeah, you get a button um, for Google Pay um, comes up if you're if you're on mobile. And there's there's a couple of things that could be improved. So at the moment, the, the contribute button's still visible as well. But um, there's, this is coming. Is there a process. text to give type of feature in the works? Um, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if that's something that Stripe supports particularly. Um, but um, I guess I mean I, I guess uh, it's the sort of thing you might be able to build once you know once there's card on file, so you're you're already a you know a regular donor you know you already make donations to a to an organisation um, you you could certainly build something then you know uh, there, there's there's um, extensions available to do text both send and receive with a civi um, you could link that somehow into civi rules I guess uh, or, or something else and then and then tell it to automatically take a payment from the saved card that that contact has. Um, I guess there'd be a bit of work to do around that to make sure it's done right, but um, that'd be something that might work in the future. One thing I saw with the text to give um, on another um, service, like a Sierra donation fundraising software, was when you text a specific number, then you actually get the link to the donation form. So oh, okay. you're 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 just using the text just to get the to serve the link to that person not to process the donation well that would work now i mean uh you know the, these these ones here are just links to a to a website um these are just standard contribution pages on happens to be running on top of a wordpress site so yeah you, you could do that and that there's um um yeah there's some some sms extensions um for civi uh it's one i was involved with a while back called sms conversation but um there's a couple of others since I think that's uh, Michael McAndrew, um, third sector design would know more about that. Um, Great. Um, we'll try to we'll try to figure that out. Yeah. Especially like yeah. we're we're getting ready to do like a fundraising event, so that's when you would tell people who are attending your event, you know, text this number, and then they would get the link to make the donation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would definitely be possible. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other questions or um, anything anybody would like to know? Hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> yes, super helpful. And folks, you all can unmute yourselves. And then, um, Matt, if you can make me the host again, that would be great. Uh, yeah. How do I? I just got um, to do it to specifically. Russian I was yes. just going to say, I think yeah. that that blue styling of the tick box is dependent on the browser because it looks different in Firefox as opposed to Chrome. Got it. Um, and and let's see if we can. Uh, I'm just going to stop the.